Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's InfiTQ SC interview experience. Yes, guys, the interviews for SC profile for 2023 batch have started from past week. So, I will be discussing today's InfiTQ SC interview experience for 2023 batch. Guys, please make sure that you watch this video till the end because a lot of interviews are still going on and many of the questions for the SC interview can repeat in your interviews also. So do not skip any of the questions that I have discussed in this video. And guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join our Telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. And guys, previously also many Infosys related interview experiences I have posted on this channel. All the videos of the Infosys related interview experiences are placed in this particular playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it. <coughs> Because a uh, lot of questions you can see in these videos also that are repeating. So if you are having interview for any of these profile in coming days, make sure to visit this playlist. Maybe you will find it very useful. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Because subscribers are very important and they will motivate me to make more such videos. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so the date of the interview was today only. That is 14th July 2022. And this is a 2023 batch student experience. So make sure to watch this video till the end. The branch of my friend is ECE. The duration of the entire interview was 15 minutes. The SC interviews are taking for less time only. That is for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So this is the average duration for SC interviews. Okay. So first question is introduce yourself. So guys, again, if you are following my videos, you must know that this question will be asked from you in every in every company. And this is very important as per your interview is concerned. So you can include your skills your uh, internships, your projects, any extracurricular activities that you have done, any achievement that you have achieved. So all those things you can mention in this particular question and you will be good to go. Okay. Next question was, what is the difference between DDL and DML command? So guys, again, it is a very basic question of SQL that is DDL command stands for data definition language and DML command stands for data manipulation language. Uh, DDL commands are used to create a database schema and can be used to define some constraints as well. So if you want to create a database schema or to define any constraints in them, then we will be using DDL command. Whereas in DML commands, DML commands are used to add, retrieve or update the data that is already present in that table. So I hope now the basic understanding for DDL and DML commands are clear to you. So now moving to the next question. Next question was, what is the difference between left join and right join? Okay. So first of all, in left join, it joins two or more tables, return all the records from the left table and matching rows from the right hand table. And similarly is the right join but opposite. Okay. So right join is used to join two tables, return all the records from the right table and matching rows from the left table. Okay. So let me just explain you again. If you are given two tables that you have to join and if you are joining them using left join, then all the rows from the left table will be returned plus the rows which are common in both left table plus right table will be returned. This is left join. But in right join, when you're joining two tables, all the rows from the right table will be returned to you plus the rows which are common in left table and right table will be returned to you. So this is a major difference between left join and right join. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is what is the syntax for create and alter command? So as this is the basic question that is basic syntax for DD, uh, basic syntax for uh, DBMS you must know that is for all the commands DML and DDL. So it will be helpful for you in the interview. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question was, do you know any trending technologies? So guys, uh, you are studying in BTEC from past three years. So again, you are going to IT companies. So they are expecting that you must know, have a basic understanding of trending technologies, like what is going on. So there are a few trending technologies like machine learning is there, uh, IoT is there. So like these technologies, they are present. So if you have a basic understanding of any of these technologies, that will be good for you. Okay. So again, this question can be asked from you in the interview as well. Next question was, are you learning any technologies? So yes, if you are, if you know some technologies, like if you are working in basic only, basic technology only, like Java, in Java, you are learning Spring Boot, Spring MVC, like these things, this will be good to go. Again, machine learning is there, cloud work, cloud is there. So all these things are also there. So if you are learning any technology, it will be a plus point in your interview. And if you have the basic knowledge for them. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question was a situational based question that is suppose you are working for a project and a team and you have a team of four members. You want to convince your teammates for a particular suggestion. How will you convince them? 
so again it is situation based question it, it can be asked from you in this interview that how you can uh, convince your idea to a team so again there can be answer like you can arrange meetings for teams you can uh, you can tell them that what is good in this idea how we can uh, how we can uh, you can see uh, you can say how we can achieve it what are the different steps will be involved in every uh, every area like what we what is the code we have to develop what is the things that we will have to test for so all these things you can include okay so this is how you can convince them okay next question was in a company as an employee will you appreciate everyone for their work so your answer should be yes that yes you will appreciate everyone for their work so this is it for this particular question that yes you will respect every employee and appreciate their work the last question of this interview was what are your short term and long term goals so again it is dependent on you that on what grounds you are giving the interviews and what are your expectation that after 5 years you must achieve this after 2 years you must achieve this so it is based on your things only that how uh, how you will answer this question so these were all the questions which are asked from this uh, interview this is for the st role so therefore the duration of the interview was very less and the number of questions were also very less but guys please prepare well do not just assume that easy questions will be asked there, there will be chances that one or two tricky questions can also be asked from you so be prepared for them also and guys if you have not subscribed this channel now please subscribe it please share this video among your friends also so that they can also subscribe your subscribers are very important for this channel as they will motivate me for making more such videos so guys thank you for watching thank you for watching this video